Number Both 30, teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Pirates' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 37-yard line. Second down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Seven-yard play. Hey, he picked up a nice gain of seven yards on that play. Great pass. That, that makes, makes it third, third and three. three. Here we go, here. He's into the open field. Steps out of bounds around the 47-yard line. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. He throws a dart to the right. Keeps a foot in and pulls it down. This is a great pitch and catch combination, and they hook up here for a big time game. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. After, After review, review of the play, the, play, the ruling, ruling on the, on the field, field stands. So the call on the field stands. From the 22 yard line, first down. Quick strike and he drops it. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. Tackle made at the 11-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. First down. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. And he hits the PAT. An eight-play, 75-yard drive. And the result, seven points. East Carolina to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's scrambling. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's taken down at about the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Tackle right around the 36-yard line. 
you know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From the 46-yard line, first down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. He is such a good target, really anywhere on the field. But they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Nice run to the outside. And this play is number eight on the drive. A yard, maybe two on the carry. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. So we're looking at another third down here. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. That is a loss of five on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 7-3, ECU. North Texas lines up for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receiver. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 23. East Carolina is up by four. He fires left side. The defender had it and then dropped it. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Wants to throw outside. So that'll make it fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Brought down at the 39. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He scrambled. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it second and eight. Second and eight. Ball on the 42. Scrambling around. Picks up five on the scramble.
Play fake and looking to run. He's got to admire the effort to make sure he got every last foot he needed to pick up the first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49. And he's tackled after positive yardage. He decides to keep it and picks up seven yards. After a quarter of play, we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-3, Pirates. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. And down he goes around the 26-yard line. From the 26-yard line, first down. And a six-yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. That's a team of six on the play. That brings him second and five. Linebacker's had a couple years of experience, and he's really solidified himself as a reliable tackler, as you can see from that last stop. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He's on the run. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And he's tackled around the seven-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. It's the ninth play of the drive. Handoff inside. He makes it to the six-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings him second and goal. They're at the six. Second down. The tight end for a touchdown. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three point lead with this extra point. He makes the PAT, a 10 play, 61 yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. North Texas is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. goes out of bounds at the 29-yard line. That's a gain of four on the ball. That makes it second and six. Out of bounds around the 31-yard line. the 45 gain of eight yards that makes it second and two throws out to the back and he can't hold on to it they'll line it up again on third down 
Seven yard line. What a call. Third and short, and they complete a pass for a first down. And a quick throw. And they make the stop at the 50 yard line. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. Pickup of about seven that time on the screen play. That makes it fourth and four. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. Excellent punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. North Texas has a three-point lead. Now he tries to buy some time. North Texas is going to use their first time out of the half here. Second and five. Ball on the 25, and he tucked that one in for about five yards. Fires across the middle. He's taken down right around the 42-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. Let's go, let's go. He gets rid of this one. Tackles him hard at the 45-yard line. That makes it 37. He's going to try and scramble. Tries to get around the corner. No one opens, so he's going to run. He gets hit out of bounds around the 39-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. And he throws it away. North Texas is up a field goal. Short over the middle. And he's immediately tackled. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Steps out of bounds at about the 31. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. He's scrambling. 
inside the 10. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. An 11 play, 79 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. And it was really those long runs that really helped propel that drive. So the score now 17 7. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Nice run there. The Pirates taking their first time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. So at the end of the half, the mean green in front, 17-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back from their offense. Uh, absolutely, and you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. They'll spread the field with five wide. Green nine, green nine. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. Nice run up the middle. Second and five. Three down, three down. 49's the mic. Watch 49. Here we go. Tackle around the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line. First down. it out to maybe the 49-yard line. No game. That makes it second and 10. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He scrambles. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's tackled at the 37-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. He makes the catch and has a first down. He 
gets out to about the 17-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. He steps out at the 14-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 14. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Check four, check four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ready. Here's a running play. Makes it to the 12-yard line. Here's third and eight. Ball on the 12. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And that sets them up for the first and goal. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 12-play, 76-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a 7-on-7 drill to not see the ball touch the ground. This time, they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback and the receiver. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. North Texas's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. He's out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Quick toss. Incomplete. Almost picked off. From their own 27-yard line, it's third down. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That's good for a of two yards. That'll make it fourth and six. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. From their own 31-yard line, second down. You can't block me. You can't block me. And he just gets rid of it. Some hard at the 26. Loss of five on the play. Fourth down. Fourth and long here after the sack. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. 
Not a bad return. Return for a game of 12 yards. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. And down he goes at the 34. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 34. Sack. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the mean green in front, 24-7. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter, both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 39. Gets it out quickly. That's a great tackle at the 42-yard line. the 42 yard line first down complete brought down nothing doing no gain that makes it second and ten Seven-yard line. Really nice cover skill shown here this time. That's exactly what you want to see from your young corners. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Watch out here, and they make the stop at the 18-yard line. That's a gain of nine on the play. That makes it second and two. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of six on the play. First down. Hey, kill, kill, kill! And he can't get away from the pressure. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Flair! 
The five. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. And so the defense comes up with a fumble. Is that turnover going to hurt them? Well, every turnover hurts, but hopefully for their sake, this running back will go out there next time and hold on to the football a little bit better. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He's out to the 30. He's taken down right around the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Just under three to go in regulation. set of downs, a chance to kill even more time. First and ten, ball on the 47. He's pushed out of bounds at the 31. Second down and 11. Ball on the 32. Tackle for a loss. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. to do it for this one our final score 24 to 7 north texas for ea sports and kirk herb this is brad nestler saying thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time